RCA says it will keep making video discs as long as there are reasonable demand for them. But the company is stopping the production of video disc players. RCA has lost $100 million a year on them since they began production three years ago. More from CNN's Todd Benjamin in New York. RCA had high hopes for the video disc, a machine that plays video recordings of movies and other programs, similar to the way a record player plays records. RCA's former chairman once called it the company's priority for the decade of the 80s. But consumers had different ideas, turning instead to video cassette recorders which use tapes. RCA lost more than a half billion dollars in five years on the ill-fated project, including a write-off of $175 million in this year's first quarter. It's not the first huge commercial failure for RCA. It pulled out of mainframe computers 13 years ago, following an after-tax loss of $250 million. Despite all its problems, including four CEOs since 1975, RCA posted a 73% increase in earnings for the first quarter. It's number one in color TV sales, number one in video cassette cameras and recorders, a leader in satellites and defense electronics and owns Hertz Rent-A-Car. But its broadcast equipment operations continue to lose money. Despite the fact that the performance has not been adequate, or in, like in broadcasting, up to its rivals, their priceless entities, the telecommunications, Hertz, NBC, electronics, are very valuable businesses which have the potential of having much higher profits than they show today for RCA. Its decision to phase out the video disc player cuts its losses and should help future profitability. It's moved to sell its CIT Financial Services subsidiary to manufacturers Hanover Trust for $1.5 billion is viewed as another positive move. But RCA still has a long way to go. While its stock price is close to the high for the year, it's still nearly half what it was at the crest of the color TV boom in the 1960s. Todd Benjamin, CNN, New York.